Okay. Hello, my name is Vagrant. I am the creator of Escape the Dead. I'm going to be doing a little walkthrough today, and with me have Poroska, who also worked on Escape the Dead with me. She did a lot of textures. Uh, so we're going to play through, and I haven't played this in a while, so I might forget a few things, but I'm going to give you guys a guide on how to beat it, and uh, show you some secrets while I'm at it. Um, I will not be updating Escape the Dead. I think it's pretty much finished for me. Um, so I'll play as Eugene. Okay, here we are. Nice little opening. Okay. So at the start, I believe we need to find a way out of this area. So we need to find a, a weapon. I'm going to grab this hammer. There's a few weapons in the, the starter house you can find if you look hard enough. I'm actually going to grab a golf club. I'm going to see if any weapons spawn in the bath. Nope. Usually there's a... Oh, here's some pills. We're going to need that for a quest later. So I'm going to grab those. <coughs> Uh, and then let's go out. So we need our phone out. There we go. I'm gonna grab this. And we're gonna search the drawers to see if we can find some keys. Oh, here we go. We're lucky. I'm going to also grab a pocket light that's hidden on top of the uh, door here on the shelf. Going to need that definitely for this kind of map. Should I take the baseball bat? Actually, I'll grab the baseball bat. Mm. <laughs> you can't find bullets in these drawers. You just need to search, guys. Uh, there is a hidden. Uh, item back here actually, I'm going to see if I can see if it spawns. Sometimes it spawns, sometimes it doesn't. Let's have a little look. Open up this wardrobe. And it didn't spawn. So no gun for us. More pocket lights. More pocket lights. Now there's a few items in the game that you can pick up, such as tins. Oh, and bullets. Oh, yeah. Uh, the tins are for a quest also. If you get enough food, you get an extra weapon. Make sure we have all these coppers checked. Okay. I think that's it. Mm-hmm. Now you have a limited time to grab what's in this house before the lights do turn off completely and you're in the dark. So you better be quick. It's, I'm running right now, which is not the best idea, so I'm on my own. But uh, you should take it slow. So you're going to need this pipe to open up the uh, sewer. So I'm going to grab that. Use the keys on this padlock. See what we can find. I'm going to get my baseball back because uh, it's kind of dark in there. This is why you need to pocket light. Make sure there's nothing in here. I'm trying to nibble. Great. Sometimes a pistol spawns here on this guy's hand, which is, hasn't happened. I'm going to grab this bucket. So we're going to need it. Now I'm going to go to the kitchen real quick to fill it up. And now we're going to place it in the sink. Yoink! I have a bucket of water. We should be able to escape. Oops, something sounds pissed. Stick the. Now, when you walk here, you're automatically. Uh, 
throw your bucket over the water, that fire, and we'll be able to walk through, and we're out. And I'm just going to check this car. Usually there's a shotgun that spawns in it, no. Do you have any guns in here that spawns? Like a sniper, no. Oh, yep. Found a scar, nice. Now we can open up the syrup, crouch, and then we'll head down. Okay. Let's see if we can find some uh, more weapons. Now be careful when you're in the sewers. Usually there's uh, some sneaky zombies that are crouched under water just waiting for you to approach them. And there's a shotgun on the other side. I'll have to go around and get that, but I'm going to pass. Don't want to make this video too long. Now there's a Mafia house that we're going to head towards because most of the weapons will be uh, over there. You want to take your team with you. Uh, okay, I see it's zombie. Let's be careful. Mm, it's just the one, so I'm just going to use the bat. Best to save your ammunition for this map. All right. Oop. <laughs> now, when we get out, we should be able to. Oh, my flashlight's gonna hit shit. Open up this gate. It means we can head back to the first house if we if we ever want to. Let's open this up and see what we can find. First things first, we're gonna need an axe to break in the trash downstairs so we can uh, turn the power on in this house, which is oh, a lot easier to see what's lying around. Let's go upstairs. And smash open. Oh. Make some noise. Now, quest will start up in here if you turn on the power. Uh, if you want to avoid it, just don't go near the windows. Or something. Ta-da! We have lights. Now there's a, another quest here. Um, these numbers on the wall here, if you read them, this one just says one. If you follow them, the blood trail, they, you should find all six numbers. So that's one, five. Oh, shit, I went to, I went to the window. Alright, I'm going to, uh, should I, should I not, I don't know if I'll survive, okay I'll try and do this quest. So basically, uh, school bus has approached the house and we have to decide if we're going to help them or not. So we have to turn on the uh, stereo. But I don't even have a pistol, so I don't know if that's a good idea. Hmm. All right, let's see if I can do this. What in the hell is that? What are they doing? What, whatever they're doing, it's keeping us alive.
Got it. Okay, that wasn't so bad. <clears throat> when you beat this quest, um, you do get a ton of uh, ammunition and weapons. We're gonna need those, so I'm gonna run downstairs real quick to grab those before these guys get out. Nice. 
Lions. Okay, so let's show some secrets that are lying around in this house. And usually, if you just keep searching drawers, you will find ammo. We're going to need uh, the coins for later, so I'm going to grab those for a secret layer. They only spawn in that drawer, so. <clears throat> Alright, let's head to the top here. Make sure. Yep, yeah, the power's on. Make sure there's nothing up here trying to sneak up. And grab me. Now, if we go back here, there should be uh, a weapon that spawns, I think. Yep. You can grab that. Um, the more that play this map. Oh, snap. The more to play this map, the more zombies there are. So you're gonna need all the guns you can get. <clears throat> so if you follow the blood trail, like I said, you'll find all the numbers. There's the last one there. So let's see. Um... Oh snap! I need to back up a bit. There we go. Alright, so let's grab some ammunition. No, no, it's not what I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I need that bomb for later, too. Oh, shit! That bitch scared the fuck out of me. Sneaky zombie. <laughs> Fuck me again. Uh, I'm getting out of here. It's getting a little bit scary for my liking. So there's a but. Oh, actually, we better grab that food real quick. Uh, you can also find water as well that you also oh there we go water right there Let's see if we can pick it up yeah got it and tons of food to the last ten you need five tens for the quest I think that was the last one. No, it's not. There's five things enough. I need to go to the other house to get it. That's fine. So with the bottle of water, you can take it to the girl who's uh, hiding down in the sewers. If you give it to her, she'll give you uh, some nice items and a gas mask. The gas mask, you'll need to go into the house that's on fire. The smoke will choke you and kill you. But with the gas mask on, you should be okay. So let's head. Is it back down that way or should we go this way? I think. Yeah, we'll go this way. Okay. Now there's. I believe there's three possible escape routes in this map. Uh. Ah! Every time you join this map, there's three possible escape routes that are ran randomly generated. So, I'm not going to do walkthroughs on different escapes. Just, you're going to have to figure that one out on your own. Whatever we get, I'll do and you can try your luck. Is there a lot of zombies in the sewers at the moment? Let's avoid that. Okay. Is there a pistol in there? Uh, nope. Here I am. 
that weird light, lightning effect at the moment. Hmm. So let's give the bottle of water to the, the girls down in the sewers. Let's see what she gives us. Now there is a trap here. This wire is connected to the door. If you open, if you try to open the door, this will go off. So you're gonna try and uh, get the the gun first before you try and open that door. It's locked anyway, so you have to go round. Make sure there's nothing under the water. Okay, we're good. Oh snap! Oh, you sneaky fuck. So the titty is um, back where we started. We'll grab that. Um, I'm going to put on the power to the sewers first. Oh wait, I can't. I need to get the keys for that. Damn. Alright. Let's head back and try and get those keys. Damn. Can I need these bulk cars for the school. The boat cutters spawn and uh, <clears throat> down here at the school inside the wooden hut and in one of the houses in the garage. So, not hard to find. Let's remove this piece of wood now. We can oh, I didn't snap. I should have took that. Now I'm gonna get shot. <laughs> Little die. Shit. Should I grab the gun first before fucking. No, whatever. Alright. <clears throat> Should I head to the school? Let's grab the teddy first. Now these secrets are optional. You don't have to find these to beat the game. These are just really... Um, fun things to do in the map if you really want to do them. It's not essential to beat the map. These quests are just for extra weapons too. Sometimes the party will start off and the drop rate won't be so good. You probably won't get anything and uh, you'll have to do some quests to get more weapons for your group. And I'm going to check to see if the teddy bear is still here. Yep, there's the zombie with the chef knife stuck in his head. So I'm going to grab that teddy bear and take it back. I see something moving. Ah, you need to make sure nothing's coming up behind you or from under the water. Seem to be okay so far. Not the pain in the gap here. There we go. Nope, fell back in again. You need to take a running jump, I think, to get up here. Stamina. the hell? There we go. It's a run and jump. Okay. Let's see what we get. I don't think I closed that door. Yippee. 
So when we come back, we see that uh, this young lady has hung herself in depression. Maybe she was infected, who knows? Let's see, what she dropped? Gas mask and a cult, some first aid. Very nice. Uh, we're gonna have to drop something. I'm gonna have to drop the. Gonna need that mask. There we go. So let's head to the school now. Just hope these bullets last me until I get to the bloody school. And then we get to see some work done by Pro on the walls at the school. She did most of the textures. <laughs> <laughs> Bing bong. There we go. And this is the way to the school. So we're in uh, Crown City, which is just a little small. Uh, the small city that I made up. I don't think it exists. Let's see. Uh, where is. Oh! There is a survivor back here. I'm sorry if the game repeats when on my mic, because it's picking it up from the speakers as well. Uh, he'll only take uh, a sig, so if you have one in your hand, you just toss it under the door. Just have it in your hand and walk to the door and he'll take it off you and he'll give you bullets for it. And uh, he'll kill himself with it. A lot of suicidal people in this map. Okay, let's, let's open this up. I'm getting the fuck. Uh, you should back up when you open up this door, so nothing falls from the roof and grabs you, which is just possible. Just make sure you don't have anything coming up behind you. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, I see somebody hiding in the bushes. Yeah, come out there, you sneakies. Sneaky, sneaky. You make sure nothing's falling down. Oh, no, we're in the school. Yeah, it's very dark in this school, so... Make sure you have a pocket light or something. Still hear something. I don't want to be grabbed. Ain't nothing on that side. Nothing on that side. Alright, I'm pushing. Now, there's a lot of stuff in the classrooms you can find. I'm not going to go through every classroom. This map is, you know, pretty big, so I'm just going to let you do the exploring. I'm just going to do some of the quests here. Alright, let's see. Now we picked up the medicine from the medicine cabinet in one of the houses. Uh, the painkillers, which is uh, what this young lady needs who's in the bathroom. I already oh, know what she's going to say. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here, this is all I have. I'm going to rest for a while, but thanks again. She should drop me a nice... There we go, nice. That's sick. That's just what we need for downstairs. Um, but. <laughs> uh, 
we're gonna have... Ah, oh, snap. I don't like the sound of that. Sounds like a lot of zombies. I'm actually gonna... Hide in here. There's a secret in this bathroom here. I can hear so many of them. I'm gonna close this door. This wall here is with the cracks on it, and usually you get a hint. Uh, this graffiti means there's a secret nearby in the map. Uh, there's a few of them lying around. I'm just gonna start. Spare if I had a bomb. The bomb would have just done a ton of damage, and this wall would have just broke. There we go. And even if you walk up to it, we'll see, it'll give you a clue. This wall looks like you give him with enough force. Okay, let's open up this door. Make sure there's nothing trying to come up behind us. Close that door. Okay, and usually there's a bag around. So here we go. If you open up the bag, there's probably a nice weapon inside. Usually there is. Uh, will I need that grenade? Nah. I don't trust grenades in this game. Not one bit. Okay, let's head. Oh. Let me out, you bitch. Okay, we're going to head to the roof of the school. Uh, we're going to cross over. Oh my, there's a lot of zombies up here. It's going to mute myself every time I'm going to get into this because I think it's picking up sound and I hope it's not repeating. Alright, uh, so we need to find a big plank of wood to cross over to the other house. It's on fire. Um, oh, snap. Look at this little sneaky ninja. Trying to grapple me there from the side. So we'll take one of these logs. Oh my. Make sure there's no. Oh, you sneaky fuck. So don't uh, jump off. Common sense. You just instantly die if you hit the ground. What the hell? There we go. So shimmy me across. Oh dear. I don't want anything coming up behind me. So once you put the log down, the log, the plank. <laughs> You should be able to cross. Oh, I see a nice gun up there. I'm going to grab that. Uh, my advice is don't try to come into this house without the mask. Let's see if I can get that gun up there. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice. We got a shotgun. Okay, is it safe down here? There's another attack, which means it's a weapon. Nice bullets. I'll take them. So 
So if you come down here, there's an, an item for a quest. Make sure you have the mask on when you come down here. We're looking for this. Grab that. So I should be down here. Uh, this is a secret item for a secret room in the uh, map that we're going to show you. Can I open that? Yeah, I can. Nothing in it. Shit. Uh, make sure to check the... Oh, that's not something good. I don't think there's any... No. I don't think there's any food down here. That's all I'm going to take. There's a ton of stuff in this house I think you can, if you search long enough. I'm not going to spoil all of it. Ah, uh, so, basically, you're looking for, I should have said at the start, we're looking for some batteries for the, a radio. I'm not going to ignore that. I know exactly what that kid wants. I ain't falling for it. And usually, the batteries will spawn on the, this up here, but they haven't, so they'll probably spawn somewhere else. I'll show you where the spawn points are, but the batteries is what you need to escape. Oh, it gives the radio its power so you can hear for an escape route. Let's get the hell out of here. I don't need the gas mask no more, so I'm going to throw it as soon as I get out of here. Oh. Oh. I'm going to grab the last sniff of food. Actually, I'm going to go start the quest up. Make sure nothing's down here. Is there a weapon you spawns here too? Oh, there we go. I'm going to grab that for later. Make sure you check all the bags too. That are lying around. Usually there's a pistol or two inside them. Okay. Just go away. I, I don't have anything. So even if you kicked down the door and killed me, you wouldn't get anything. Uh, look, I, I'm starving. I might not have anything with me. But I know where you can find some weapons. I if you can bring me some food, say five tin, yeah, that should last me about a week, then I'll tell you where they are. Come back when you have some food. That's Broska's work here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the animal textures. So I'm going to grab the last 10 for him. I will, I will, I will. Come back when I get some food to get it. Alright, let's see. So there should be an open gap in this bathroom that we can crawl through. And I'll take us through this bus. Make sure there's nobody on this. And I'm going to also open the gate real quick at the back of this house so we can get back to the first house that has a radio. So it's quicker. We don't have to walk all the way around. Make sure there's nothing down here. Around the corner. Okay. Oh. There we go. Now we can get back to the start real easy. There should, there's, a, I think there's a quest in here. Usually, there's, the weapons spawn where they, where they should, <laughs> next to uh, army trucks and shit like that. 
See if we can find a gun anywhere down here. No, no, no gun spot here. What about on top of the car? No. Mm. Well, it's random, so it may spawn, it may not spawn. There's the last tin. I grab that. There's also a question here we're going to do. Let's see if it's squeezed through. Why are you involving strangers? Because they can help us. But they have guns. They'll shoot us dead. And we have guns too. Now why don't you go in the other room and keep an eye on them on the camera? <sighs> Fine. Nice to meet you. Now, I was hoping that you could do me a favour. You see, our dog, Rover, ran off and I was hoping that you would find him for me. Now, I expect that he's gone back to his little dog house which is outside, in the front yard. Even you can't miss it. If you bring him back to us, we'll reward you for your effort. Now, well, we're going to look for a dog. Just, so if you press it again, and you don't have what you're required, wait, oh, this work. I So basically, we have to find the rover. So let's go look for the dog. Let's see if we can find it. Should be easy. Is the door open? Nope. Um, I don't think the batteries spawn in this house at all. No, they don't. We don't have to worry about it. Let's go find rover. If you go always say there should be a little dog house and a blood trail if you follow it. We'll find Rover. And take his collar. What we required. Oh, what the hell. I heard something. Take his collar. Now, that's the second question. You guys can do it if you want. You can go around repairing the windows if you want, but I'm not going to do that. You just get more weapons. <clears throat> There's a ton of quests in this map. I'm not going to do them all. Um, this guy is just to show you guys how to beat it and uh, show you some secrets on the way. I'm not going to spoil the whole thing. It would take way too long. I think it's taken quite a while already. 
Um, like I said, it's quite a big map. So let's look for the Barrys and escape. Uh, let's see. I'm going to head back into the source to show you the one last secret before we go to the escape. Now the Barrys usually spawn in the school. And the house I just showed you. And uh, also they spawn in the Mafia house. Uh, so we're going to check the classroom. I didn't see them in the Mafia house. Let's see if they're in here. Uh, this is not the computer room. We're looking for the... Is that upstairs? Duh. Someone's angry in there. Let's not disturb them. Mm hmm Okay. Is it this room? No. I'm not about this one. Oh, must be upstairs. Or am I mistaken? Is it in these rooms? No, it's not. I think it's in this room here. It used to spawn on the table, but they haven't spawned. Let's try uh, upstairs real quick. Here we are. And they haven't spawned. Okay, so let's try the roof. Usually they spawn on the roof as well. Try there, real quick. Oh, I think it spawned here. Yep, it spawned. So we're going to grab the battery. There we go. Um, there is a secret here too, but I'm not going to risk it. If you're skilled enough and run and jump from here onto the fence below this fence, this gate here, you can jump onto that, walk across, jump onto the fence, walk across that, and then jump onto the uh, school shed, which is down there. On the roof, there's a bag there and some ammunition. But I'm not going to break my leg and. Uh, uh, trying to do it because I haven't done it in a long time. So now we have the barrier, we're going to head back to the, the starting area and stick it into the radio and try to escape. Let's see, um, but before we do that, I need to go back to the store and show you that secret real quick. Also gonna give this sick. Oh, I don't have it with me anymore. Damn, I must throw it away. Yeah. And there is a way to turn the power on and say the sewers. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that. Just have to find the keys. They're somewhere in the sewers somewhere. Just need to pick them up, open up the door, and figure out the puzzle, and you should be uh, able to see better. It's really dark in this house.
peekaboo. Okay, here we are. So if you took your time to uh, grab that little secret with the gas mask, there is a secret room down here that you can power up. I'm going to close this door. Uh, so we stick that on here. Uh, and there we go, power. Now this is just a, a small uh, bonus if anyone really, really wants to find it. Oh, here we go. I'll take that pistol for later. Uh, so we need the coins. Now, unfortunately, you need to put it in one at a time. So this arcade machine here, if you beat it, there is a safe back here that unlocks and has a ton of ammunition. So let's see if we can do it. There we go, got lucky. <laughs> Alright, let's take what we want. Nice, 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 nice. Now this is the small map of the sewers as well if you wanna, if you get lost, but you can only find it in this room. Let's see, is it from here? Okay, so let's escape. We can play ammo now, should be okay.
gonna let them chase me because I'm gonna need the ammo for the escape. So there's three possible escape routes, depending on which one you get uh, when you place a virus into radio. Uh, for those who kept... There was um, a point when this map was really early uh, in the making and people kept complaining and uh, where to escape, even though it said it on the phone where to go. So now it, it shows you where to go once you place the batteries into the radio. So that should help a lot of those people out. And so let's see what we get. What escape route we get? There's nothing in here trying to bite me while I'm trying to put these batteries in. Okay, so now we know where you're going now. So let's get out of there. We're going to take a shortcut because uh, we opened up the gate over here. So we go inside. So once you go inside, the riot will begin, and you'll have to defend yourself until the until help arrives. So let's lock up this. Oh, let me shut that bloody door. Mm hmm. Okay, here we go.
Um, so yeah, that's a skip to dead, guys. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, and good luck.